It started with a simple message on my phone, a text from an unknown number, check your front door. My heart pounding, I peered through the peephole to an empty porch. But as I opened the door, a small, unmarked box sat there, wrapped in brown paper. I brought it inside, curiosity peeking, and opened it to find an old, yellowed photo. It was a picture of me, taken in my own bedroom, while I was sleeping. Days turned into weeks, and every night, a new box would appear with a photo of me, taken closer and closer. The photos showed me in various states of sleep, the latest one so close I could see the sweat on my forehead. I was alone, living in a small apartment, and the police couldn't find any evidence of a break-in. The locks were changed, the windows fortified, but every morning, without fail, a new box would appear. I stopped sleeping, fueled by fear and adrenaline. I stayed up all night, but somehow the photos kept coming. They showed me asleep, peaceful, oblivious to the terror I was living. The last photo, though, was different. It wasn't of me. It was a photo of my front door, taken from inside my apartment, with the message written in red on the back, check your front door. And as I opened it that morning, I wasn't met with the chill of the early dawn or the familiar sight of a small, wrapped box. Instead, standing on my porch, was the last thing I expected. It was me, or rather, something wearing my face, grinning widely as it raised its hand, holding up a camera. It let out a chilling laugh, one I had heard in my darkest nightmares, as it took a step forward, still grinning, still laughing, and the door slammed shut behind it.